All aboard! And welcome to today's edition of Shaky Hand Shed, where we'll be taking the Hornby Railways, Great Western Railway, 06 or Pannier Tank, from its non original. Somebody had already detailed and painted it, but it had got a bit shabby, it had lost one of its number plates, it had lost its British Railway decals. And the coal in the bunker had lost the black colour, it's become sun bleached. So it just needs a helping hand, really. It's a nice loco as is, but it'll be nicer. In fact, I know it turns out nicer. Uh, I screwed up a couple of times. I've lost a couple of XO4 motors through trying to clean and polish the commutator so I think in future I'll be more careful I'll buy a couple users buy a couple of spurs replacements off eBay and here I'm just taking off the body ready to I stripped it down, it's been stripped down and oiled and stuff, so it's had some attention as well. A little bit of a service, and but my main aim on this really, it was already a runner. I've only made it a little bit smoother. My main aim was to clean it up, touch paintwork up, redeckle and re put the new name plate, name plates, number plates on. In Great Western's case, they had number plates. And here I'm taking one that was already on it off. And just scratching off what remains of the BR decals. Both sides. And this bit revealed the green paint underneath. So it required a touch up later. Here I am taking the motor out. And they're a good rock steady motor. I've just been clumsy. And it's stuff I won't do again. I'll just use a glass fibre pen in future. I tried polishing the commutator with Autosol and me mini Dremel we are polishing mop on but it didn't work so I divide that I think in future I'll just use the glass fibre pen I had one I had no excuse it was just some that I tried but yeah I'm polishing the connecting rods up because they had a bit of dirt and rust on then later on after that I put it through uh, after I'd done that and I'd washed it off with here I'm washing it off with methylated spirits and after that it went for a hot rinse off in hot water then was left to dry before oiling and here this is the part where I'm putting the chassis back together <laughs> starting to look the parts again I've put a new motor in it and here we are just test running the motor give it a quick test and run sweet again and it's quite therapeutic I quite enjoy watching these videos myself of them running Anyway, after it's clean up, it was missing some paint, so 
it was duly touched up. And the other side. Just spots here and there. The main bit was on the balance weights on the wheel where it lost paint. And here I'm using Umbro Gloss to go over the coal. As it had, it had lost its colour. Some of the coals, I think, are wood dyed. And I think the dye must bleach. Either bleach or soak into the wood chips. I've got an idea that they, rather than real coal, are something like walnut chipping or whatever it'll be one nut husks chips anyway and there I'm gluing on the I'm super gluing on the chimney cap so it's not lost and here we're cutting down the new plates to go on and here's the part where I dab a bit of super glue on and put the plate down and here we're just touching up the black where it's been worn off in areas where the black paint has worn off touching it up again so it looks tidier a little bit on top of the dome as you can see I touched that up with brushing everything later but what I'm doing here I'm using the black I used was Citadel's Abaddon Black and here I'm using Vallejo Premium Clay Varnish they do it in matte silk and gloss and there I'm using silk and uh, I'm just giving it a quick run to test it up against the buffers and gradually re releasing the power and slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slows down beautiful and here I've just got it on the test track where I'm going backwards and forwards Fragments and barwards and there uh, is where we finished up looking beautifully not a full new paint but it's been touched up new decals new number plates and give spread over with satin varnish the coal's been touched up anyway thank you for watching and Tatty pie everyone, tatty pie.